Three, two. No prizes for guessing what we're talking about today. Oh yeah, of course, yes. Now, yes. before we get into it, you'd be happy to know yeah. that we have one extra subscriber to our channel. Do we? Yeah, so... That takes a total of what, 16 so we need and a half? Exactly, 16 and a half, yeah. if you're lucky, 11. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, good. But we've got to be careful. What? Because, you know, the way we're going... We might break the internet. Thank you very much. Yeah, All right, no, let's okay, get into yeah, okay, it. Okay, go on. So the reason we're talking about 007 and today... The reason we're talking about 007 today is because of this guy. All right, Killian Murphy. There's a buzz going about. You know what that buzz is? No. He might be the next Bond. Actually, I didn't know that. All right, so he might I'm be the next tell. Bond. Yes. Apparently, impressed a couple of the uh, producers. Yeah. And you know what? I, for one, think it's a good shout. He's a you very think good it's a good shout to cast Killian Murphy as Bond? I don't think it's bad. Why do you think it's bad? First of all, I'm very precious about this subject. I know Bond, you as are. As you know. That's why we're talking about it. I'm one of the foremost experts on Bond. Aside globally, from, globally. Aside from globally. the very esteemed David Zeritsky. And, uh, and uh, Calvin Dyson. And Calvin Dyson's. By the way, uh, check them out. They kept us going through lockdown. It's Shout true. out to those guys. It's true. Anyway, Killian Murphy. Very good actor. Winning all the awards. Can like, you know, an actor's actor. Not yeah, a movie yeah, star. Yeah. Right, right. You know, unfortunately, take on different characters. So I think very much like, you know, when Christian Bale was first announced to play Batman and everybody was like, yeah, Christian ba Bale, he pulled it off. Yes. I think Killian can do the same. I think Except he's got the chops. No. Oh, and he's been in all those films, actually, now that I think about it. Sandman. What do you mean, Sandman? The What's Sandman. Sand what you, oh, you mean Scarecrow. <laughs> you, That's what I you mean. mean. Batman Begins, he's Scarecrow. Yes. That's why he's too famous. Okay. This guy's too famous. He just won Best Actor. But still, because he's such a good actor, he's not a movie star. Listen, the Bond casting historically since the start, okay, and you should write this down, yes. has, been, has been rooted in finding uh, largely unknown actors all right, all right. who don't have a all relationship right. with all screen, right. screen, all screen right. audiences. All right, all right. right. Oh, like so Pierce the, Brosnan, eh? Anyway. Well, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 best wait, picture. Oh. <laughs> Who's your pick then? Just let me just say this something oh, to you. Lord. Also, I think you have to remember one thing that you're overlooking, right? Mm -hmm. Now, because he's won Best Picture, yeah, you cannot... Um, best Actor, yeah. Uh, be, yeah. Be, be, <laughs> best Actor. Uh, he actually should have won it for one of my favorite movies, now that I think about what? it. I give, him, I give him credit for this. If he'd been cast after this movie, okay, Red Eye. Fine. Great film. Check it out. Great film. One of the most underrated... Um, hit, no, what do you call them? Not Hidden Treasures. Guilty pleasures. <laughs> I mean, is it bad? No, it's excellent. Well, I mean, you know, it's kind of like cheesy and it's kind of like, uh, what do you call it? Um, it was slightly maligned by critics, but actually it's one of those ones that has developed a cult following since. Okay. Okay. Good so to know. Just I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Okay. Now, because Go of on. him, 150,000 Japanese are taking a dirt nap underneath the Hiroshima rubble. Here we and go. that Here is what we people go. will be remembering. All right. Can we see just, on screen. Who's your pick for Bond? The next Bond. Great. That I mean, man, best, is he best, ever going to freaking learn that just has to work. work? This simple... Sorry. <laughs> Not him. That's All right. That's <laughs> okay. All right. I pick... Oh, my God. Hidlow. Oh, my okay, God. Tom Hiddleston. All oh right. Oh, my God. Fuck. Prepared as always. Anyway, Hiddleston. I know what you're thinking. The lips, yeah. Why don't you like him? Lips. Why don't you like him? He's debonair. He's... He's not. Slick. He's not. He's gentleman-like. He's not. He's distinguished. He's not. First of all, also, did you ever see a, a show, um, also a very polarizing show called The Night Manager? I saw The Night Manager. Did you Manager. actually think he pulled off the I role don't, I don't think of like a Night badass, Manager. tough guy, secret agent who could seduce like men and women alike? Listen, I don't think The Night Manager. I know what you're saying. It's a good show. It's not a good show. You were trembling with fear. It's not a good show. At the, at the, at the he, interaction between He him. Yeah. was the best part about it. No, he wasn't. Okay. Hugh Laurie was the best part about it. Right. You okay. actually admitted that at the time. And by the way, how could you say Sarcastically, that? Sarcastically, yes. How could you say that? I mean, look. Does he look tough? No. But, I mean, did Roger Moore look tough? Yeah, more so. Oh, please. Yes, more so. After the fact. After no, the no, fact. no, no, no. Roger yes, Moore, once Moore, they, like, put him in some, like, action sequences, it, it, yes. It, 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 do you think, do you think, uh, do you think um, men want to be him? You know what they say about Bond? Well, listen. You know what they say about Bond? What's the, the character? 
I, yeah, I know what you're going to say. Women want to be with him and men want to be him. That's great. Uh, okay. Once they take on the character, as a good actor, they can, like, you know, take on those characteristics. David That's Suchet, their job. David Suchet is a good actor. He nailed it as Poirot. Why don't you cast him as Bond? He's a great actor. Well, he's about 18 years, years old. But well, so what? They're de-aging technology. All right, fine. Very good, on. by the this way. This is your pick. Oh yeah. Now okay. Now you're oh, come talking on. about we have to pick somebody unknown. Oh, he, is he unknown? Okay. He's literally played a spy in every other film he's in, and, Superman. and he's Superman. Yeah. Okay. Listen, I, I a spy I, I, in Mission Impossible. Yeah. A spy in The Man from Uncle. A spy in Argyle. He's l literally screaming out, "Make me born, make me born." He's too bulky. He's too thick. He's not slick. He's much slicker than Hiddleston. No, okay? I, I disagree. He's much more handsome. I disagree with that. Exceptional in suit. Okay. Uh, no, he I think actually already, has. A, if you watch one of our previous episodes, you'll find out why he is not exceptional in suit. Well, I disagree with that. But in any case, I mean, look at those peak lapels. Yes, if you I consider it, peak lapels. Suit. Also, by the way. Yes. Um, you know, I look. I take your point about the fame thing. Okay. And uh, first of all, Hiddleston's also too famous. No, no. He's been in Thor okay, as like the as the okay. main uh, sure. antagonist, mm. right? Okay, fine, debatable. He's played a spy in. Night I'd Manager. say Superman is more famous. He is. Okay, okay I'm gonna have to re rethink my pick, but I think. All right, listen. But I just make this point. L l just let me put, make my. Pick. <laughs> allow me to uh, allow me to articulate this point. Okay, the reason I think that they should cast him is the last Bond film, No Time to Die. Right. Terrible. By did. The way modest box office compared to its predecessors right sure. which tells me one thing that even bond is not immune from like you know box office vulnerability yes of course no no i'm just saying sure but generally you think it's in safe hands right they were worried about the box oh office. you think he's a box office draw. No, no i think actually that if they wanted a safe pair of hands you could cast the most obvious person who should be bond physically in the role lenny henry yeah i thought that <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I thought that. Moving I on. That. Fine. Say yeah, fair hands. I, I, I disagree I, I, yeah, completely. Okay. I don't think anybody's going to go to the cinema for Cavill. As opposed to Hiddleston, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Have, did you see the? Did you see the? Uh, did you see the? Uh, the um, nerve. Uh, what do you call it? Nerve tingling. Uh, All right. Uh, great. Uh, great. Uh, hands on the back of you. You're going to like standing on it. You're going to you like face, my next pick. Face off. You're going to like between, between Tom Hiddleston and Tom Hollander, who's about five foot three in the Night Manager. And you think this is this Threatening. resonates with like with like Threatening. yeah cold blood. Oh, right. He's like one of those little maniacs. <laughs> Can you just stop? Ah, oh, he's been Brosnan's gone. back. Brosnan is back. So here's my idea. Oh my god. You're yeah, de-aging. Yeah, you're de-aging. No, not de-aging. You yeah. fast forward. Yeah. A bomb in retirement coming back. Listen, they did that with the Craig ones. He was supposed to be basically in retirement. No, 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 no. He but he's no, no, no. Well, kind of. But he yes. was still doing a lot of things. Like I'm talking about. You know, sort of a brooding, older, cynical, you know, pissed off Bond. And listen, I think he can pull it off. The films he was in, Pierce Brosnan, were awful. Yeah, I, I, I even I Goldeneye, I don't like. I, I know I a lot of people like Goldeneye. I don't even like that film. But I think if he had a good film, he could have been the best, no. and it could have been the best Bond film. I think he was there. And there's still a chance. Look how good he looks. Look at that. Well, first of all, why don't you just cast him as like Q or as like M? No, he's going to be Bond. If you want to kind of like... Because we're talking about Bond. If you, yeah, but he can still be in it as the more kind of like avuncular character. Yeah, my, but then... But like, no, yeah, I do get, catch yeah, a drift, yeah, but yeah. we need somebody who's like in the mix. We need the main character. And the fact that he's played Bond and now we're going back... Terrible yeah. idea. That's All the right. worst thing. Right. I actually, you know what? I've, I, I know you don't know what's coming, okay? But I'm going to surprise you and our 11.5 subscribers globally, really, yeah. okay? With Shouldn't the pick, points, okay? And by the way, you know what they say? Yeah. Thinking outside the box. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You know, you know that... You know, that oh, I, you're thinking outside the box. You know okay. how Barbara Broccoli said, you know what? I need to get sort of the anti-bond to be yeah. bond. Dyson, Zerinsky, listen yeah. to this guy. The anti-bond, when they cast Daniel Craig, yeah? And it turned out to be a big success because he was the... Quoting the, the, the kind Broccoli. Of, the antithesis of what bond is, yes. right? <laughs> So I really, really searched the internet long and hard. I thought about this okay. for a while. Okay. All right. I'm going to surprise you. Okay. Let's go. But don't mock me. All right. Hold no, on. Don't mock me. Wait. Idris yeah. Elba. It's been said. No. So don't try it. No. 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 Okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not no. I'm going f even for m more further afield. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Tarrant. Okay. 
Chris Ethan Tarrant. He's going to be your next one. He's the man. I mean, this is, I mean, you know. I mean, what? look, look. Uh, why do we even bother with these shows? This? First of all, why do we even bother with first these shows? Of all, first of all, okay. Yes. Nobody rocks the three-button Kenzo suit, single vent. I'm talking classy, Jimmy. Classy. Okay, better than him, right? Six three, broad. Okay, quintessentially English. For An those of you who don't where's know, where's a poppy? All right. Chris Tarrant is and a British TV presenter. He used to do children's TV in the eighties. Yeah. Then he moved on to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Millionaire. Yeah, absolutely. And a few. Oh, and he did a lot of radio. Yeah. And that's your pick for the next one. I think. I think this is like. I think this guy would like nail it. I mean, look, look at him. And by the way, you're gonna say to me like he's not an actor, right? Was George Lazenby an actor? I mean, I mean, how you know how they found him? I know how they found him. Yeah. They, he was on a big fry advert promoting chocolate but at in New looked, Zealand. At least he looked like a Bond character. Tarrant looks like a Bond. Oh, yeah. looks like yeah. Bond. He looks yeah. a bit like Daniel Craig, yeah. a little bit there. Yeah. You know? yeah. uh, a bit of Li Nicholas Lindhurst as well. <laughs> if you right. Shades of Lindhurst and Craig. And, but before, just, just please. And, um, and, um, what Never you want, again. and by the way, Never and by again. the way, just another thing, just, 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 just so you know, okay? Like, you're, you're, talking about, uh, you're talking about him being like over the hill. Brosnan is probably the same age as him and has been Bond already. So I think actually Tarrant but is in far better shape. Not necessarily. You, you can. You know. Did you see how they blessed built? genetically? So is Tarrant. <laughs> With girth, correct. Oh. All right. Please like. Please view. Please comment. And we would like 007 more likes. Oh my god, that's it. <laughs> that was a good line.